Hello everyone. I hope you guys are having a great day because I know I'm gonna have a good day today. Today is like 53 degrees out. Uh, there's just a really light breeze. It's partly cloudy. We got some blue skies. It's just, it's gonna be a great day to be outside. So I'm gonna be working out here in our raised bed garden today. Um, I'm really getting that spring fever, you know. I'm waiting, I want those warmer days. I'm ready to get out here and get my hands dirty. So today I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be moving some raised beds. So I've got some old strawberry beds that are outside of the garden area. We're gonna be moving those into the inside of the garden. And then I'm also gonna be going and getting some compost that we made right here, um, right here on the property. So we're gonna go gather up some compost. We're gonna fill in some of these beds. We're gonna mix them all up because I've also added wood ash through the winter time. In fact, I actually have a whole big trash can still full of wood ash that'll probably spread onto the garden today as well. And I wanna get that and the um, compost mixed in just kind of get everything kind of ready for planting this spring so I'm hoping um, I'm hoping soon that I'm gonna have a uh, one of these raised beds I'll put a little hoop house over it and I'm hoping to start raising some some cold weather crops out here pretty soon so um, this is just the start of the garden season so I'm just kind of getting everything prepared so let's go ahead and uh, see if we can get these raised beds moved So back when we installed these strawberry beds, I actually put um, weed fabric underneath it to prevent the grass from growing through. And it's actually stapled to the bottom side of this raised bed. So I'm gonna pull up on this and I'm hoping that there's still enough weight in here that all of the staples will pull free and uh, we'll get the raised bed out and leave the weed barrier behind. Oh. That weed barrier's on there still pretty good. There, oh. Well. Bad thing is I'm pulling my screws out. I'm gonna step on this weed barrier. There we go. Oh, 
oh yeah this isn't <laughs> i remember now this isn't any normal weed barrier this is the actual this is the same stuff i used under the driveway now this stuff stuff is really thick and heavy and it's made to last Well, the good thing is, I'm not going to waste any of this topsoil. It's all going to be saved. Except for what I'm spilling on the ground. So now that I've got the uh, topsoil all packed down in there, there's only enough soil to fill up the first two by eight, the, two, the first layer on that raised bed. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and remove that top layer. Um, it'll actually probably be better if I do that because the taller I make the raised bed, the easier it will be to dry out. So I think I'm just gonna go get a recip saw. I'm just gonna cut, cut the corner braces off and then that top board will come off and then I'll just have a single layer raised bed and I think that'll work out better. Man, it has been a beautiful day all day. I have enjoyed being outside and enjoying the weather, getting my hands dirty. It just has been a beautiful day. So, so far I've got, uh, got the two raised beds installed here in the garden pretty happy with the way they've turned out so the next thing I want to do is go up front and get some compost see if we can get a big load of compost to fill some of these raised beds with I've, I've got a place up front where I've had some compost aging for over a year maybe two years it's gonna be some really good compost uh, I haven't really showed you this area necessarily so let's go up front and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about so this cobbled up old structure building thing behind me this is our uh, this is our first chicken coop that we've ever had this is our first structure that we built on this property and um, as time went on we also housed our rabbits in here and we put some metal around it to kind of keep the wind off the rabbits and it just kind of looked more cobbled up and more hillbilly as we went but what is inside of here is some really good compost so this used to um, be a hole in the ground almost used to kind of puddle with water so we would add wood chips in there the chickens would scratch through it their manure would break down the wood chips turn it into compost and we have added wood chips and wood chips to the inside of this coop and now this is actually a high spot now so this has probably got at least eight inches I'm gonna guess at least eight inches higher than what it used to be and that is just all compost that's all the rabbit manure chicken manure and those broken down wood chips so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get in here and try to dig this out and get a load of it and uh, take that back to the garden. So this is going to be some really good compost in here. And it's definitely, so we moved the chickens out like a year ago into the actual barn. Um, so it's been aging for at least a year. But I know the deeper down we get in here, there's going to be stuff that's two, even three years old in there. So it's going to be some really good compost. So after I got digging in the chicken coop, there wasn't eight inches of compost. It was probably closer to four to six inches. And this represents about a quarter of the compost that's inside that chicken coop. So we ought to get three more loads of this. And as we look in here, 
one thing you're going to notice, you're going to see some straw. We added straw to the rabbits during the winter time, and straw does not like the compost. But you can still see, like, the little rabbit pellets are still inside of here. But then the rest of the chicken coop, this is where the wood chips were. And this is that nice, dark soil. You can't really... You just can't really find any wood chips left in it. It's all disintegrated. Um, this is just really good compost. There's a stick in there, a little bitty one. But uh, yeah, chicken manure and wood chips, really good compost if you give it the time to break down. So that ought to be really good for the raised beds. So other things we've added to the raised beds this winter is we put wood ash in here. You can see the, the charcoal and the wood ash. We'll get that all mixed into the raised bed that's going to help the pH. It's going to give probably some more minerals to the soil. And then we ended up adding eggshells. Every time my wife hard boils eggs, we save the shells. And we put those eggshells here in the garden. And that really um, gives calcium back to the soil. And calcium calcium's really important, uh, you know, to plant growth. So along with those amendments and this, you know, the compost here, I'm hoping that the raised beds will be pretty much ready for planting here soon. I think they'll be amended fairly well. Well, it's such a nice day out here. I think I lost track of time. I stayed so busy trying to get this garden done, I actually forgot to eat lunch. <laughs> I think I started out here about 10 o'clock today, and now it's, um, I'd say it's getting closer to about 5 o'clock in the afternoon. The sun is actually behind the house right now, so I think I'm about to call it a day and go fix me some supper to eat. Um, but I was really happy to get done. What, what I really wanted to do today was get these raised beds in there, and that's complete. And uh, so I, I really want to get those planted here soon with some cold weather crops. And it was nice to be able to get, you know, some of that compost out of the old chicken coop and amend some of the beds. And that compost, I think, did so well because it's out here, it's out here in the weather. And even though it's somewhat protected in that area, um, it does get wet and that helps the composting process. Because right now I've got wood chips in the chicken coop in the barn, totally different. Uh, scenario so it's completely dry in there and it's just really dusty and uh, none of those chips are composting because they're not getting that moisture and getting that chicken manure mixed up in them so what I'll have to do now with with that chicken coop is I'll just have to shovel all that out of there and then put that outside in a compost bin or something where I can keep it wet and get it to really start composting because it is not Without the moisture, it's not composting there in the barn. So uh, I got two different scenarios with the chicken coop. You know, it doesn't work every time, but the one, um, the old coop had enough moisture and rain would get in there enough that it really made some good compost. Anyway, I think that's it, guys. Um, definitely was a wonderful day out, and uh, it's too bad I got to go back to work tomorrow. Yeah, more days like this, uh, man, I'm waiting for them. I'm ready for spring. So anyway, guys. Um, that's it today. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Doing the, uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm doing some kind of garden dance, I guess.